Hello again. This is Priscilla Batts, Ellen Spring Hill, Florida, on my front porch in the late afternoon sun. And I'm going to share a few paintings with you that um, you've seen. And we'll call this one number one because that's the order in which they're going to be shown. And I'm going to show them oriented in the way I've got the wires added. But wires can be added anyway. There's a little shadow across the front now. So I don't know how well this is going to work. But that's number two. And so on. We're going to keep doing that. Let's go for number three. And uh, all of this is to introduce my recent, my, my latest contest or drawing for anyone who contributes to Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Priscilla Batsell, to keep the YouTube channel going and hopefully save up for a roof. And uh, wouldn't it be nice to have a gallery space someday? Anyway, so we're going to keep right on going with this. That was number three. We'll call this number four. Let's see if I can't keep them going. That one looks like a gold dragon to me. This could probably go a little higher, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so that was number four. We're going to call that number five. I think I called that dragon heart or mask or something. We do have a little shadow going on on things. So one, two, three, four, five, number five. I love this. You can see some of the metallics in it. It's got a little rain in the background. It's a redo, but it came out gorgeous. I love this painting. So that's number six. Hopefully you've had long enough to look at these. I don't know if I'm giving you long enough, but um, oh well. I'm trying. This is an experiment. And let's have number seven. A lot of people like this, including me. Let's see if I can... You can sort of see how much metallic is in there, and there's a lot. And that is another redo. And I just realized that my standard isn't as even as I'd like it to be. No, I'm going to move that out again. My tripod's not the best, I have to say. I'm going to make a little adjustment. Nothing looks very square right now. I'm so sorry about that. That's, um, nope, I got cut off on the bottom. I think I'm going to cut off on the top. So that is what, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Which you can kind of see, hopefully. I'm not sure this is working at all. But um, that was a swipe, a wavy swipe with pretty much no cells. And I wasn't using any deck or pouring medium back then specifically. So that would have probably given me more cells than I've got there. So that's eight. This is nine, and I'm going to check my orientation. See if we can get the whole thing in frame, unlevel though it is. Maybe if I move back a little bit. This is the wimpiest tripod ever. There we go. Can't remember where I got it. It must have come in a camera kit of some kind. Wow. Okay, so I'm not really great at this yet. <laughs> I'm used to the ones that are stationary. So that was nine, I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's keep going. This is a really nice swipe. This has got some metallics, but not as many as lots of the others. And that would be number 10. And that could go either way. And you can see that there's more sun forward. I should probably have adjusted this, but it's going to serve its purpose. So that's number 10. Here's number 11. I just put up a show today at the Rising Sun Cafe in Brooksville, and that took 19 paintings, so you're only going to see a small section of these. So that was number 11. With the sun a little shadowed. Here's number 12. I really like that. A lot. Keeping making adjustments. Let's have, ooh, number 13 is on a piece of canvas board. I'm not a huge fan of canvas boards, but I do happen to like that swipe. It's a really early swipe. It was either in between videos or, um, or not a video, not a video per se, but maybe just beforehand. So I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This was number 13. I haven't decided 
number 14 is going to have any adjustments made ever. I kind of like it like it is, even though it's kind of simple. So that would be number 15. Oh, I love this piece. The next one, I mean. <laughs> Not so sure about this one. So this will be number 16. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a lot of shimmer in there. And it's just a quiet, subtle shimmer with a really fun abstract pattern. And I don't have that hung. I mean, I can change the trajectory. I can change the orientation of one of these. Even upside down is good on that. I really wish I could go up some. We're losing our sunlight. I said that was 16, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That was 15. Sorry. That was 15. So this is 16. And this too has some nice metallics in it. I'm not sure if you can see those or not. I really am losing my son to a tree branch over there. Here comes number 17. That would look better the other way up, I think. Yeah, and that is what I thought. Number 17. This is number 18. That's kind of different. The white dragon head in there. This is number 19. Hopefully I'm giving you long enough to see these. I'm not so sure about any of this. But this has amazing shimmer in there. That was... Uh, that was an early rescue. I'm not even sure if I'm positioned in the right place anymore to be in focus. So I forgot my... Why do I keep forgetting my numbers? Oh, well. This is number 19. I said that. And this was really early, and this is a favorite. This is number 19. I'll leave that up there for you for a moment, and then I will share with you, if you so desire, some of my abstract expressionist artworks that I am getting ready to hang on the wall in the hallway. I mean, they may have already been there, actually, but I'm, I'm, I've taken them down to switch them around. Let's put it that way. So in between that and this, I'm going to show you where that really the sunlight makes a big difference. I'm so sorry. But uh, this is... This is a temporary fix. This is the new painting I added to the uh, to the contest this month, and this is number twenty eight twelve. You can see this beautiful turquoisey blue metallics. Let's see if I can pull that forward a little bit and readjust. I don't know. It's a work in progress. What can I say? Let's go down here. There we go. A little bit better. And then I'm going to show you again what's still in the contest, which I absolutely love. Very cool picture. And just remember that there's a shadow from that tree branch right across there. And this is the third piece in the contest, which, if I alter it a little bit, you can see has some beautiful things going on in it. And a recap will be... Let's put that back there again one more time. Which way do I have that up? I have that this way up, and I kind of like it that way, actually. I wish I, my uh, standard would go up and down. That would be nice. So, let me introduce you to... You may have seen this before. I wonder if that's going to be in focus or not. I can't move it out anymore. I'd like to be able to show you the whole painting, though. Darn. Oh, well. I'm trying. So, that one actually has a title name. That's called Ecstasy. No comment. And, let's see what this one says. This one says... Nothing. I know that one has a title. So among the uh, abstract, abstract expressionist paintings such as these, this would be number one. The next one would be number two. It's companion piece. Maybe I can hold them both there. It would be number three. Can I hold them there? Sort of. There's number three. And these are wired both directions. 
This is in case somebody might want to collect something. These are paintings won um, for fine art and were jury in a juried show as best interesting cohesive collection. I really like some some sleek stuff. I stopped counting. That was number four. I used to have labels on all of these. They need to be labeled again. This is number five. Oh, that really needs. That has some texture and some raised areas. That's a pretty cool piece. They don't all have to be flat. A lot of these were done with fluid acrylics, not with pouring medium, just fluid acrylics. This, I believe, is called Color Industry. And was done with medium weight, medium body acrylics. And probably a palette knife and a brush. And the next one is called Beyond the Temple. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be number seven. Color Industry would be number six. That would be number seven. This is one of my favorites. This is called Calligraphy. This is number eight. Is number nine. I actually like that. Which way up do I have it? I actually have it the way I had it. Number nine. And number ten. Which has a lot of weird texture in it, but it's pretty cool too. It's stripey snaky tubes. I don't know what it's called. It has a title. Oh, it's called Just for the Fun. Anyway, so that's a brief show and tell from me to you. It's, it's not eloquent or anything, but um, it shows you what's, what's in the contest to win. Or to choose from, shall we say. Whoa, and there goes my standard. So there's one. There's another one. And there's the third one. And that is me and done. And uh, if I hate this, I won't, I won't leave it up for long, but uh, maybe I'll leave it up for the length of the contest. So pardon me for not having everything in direct sunlight, but um, I love you guys. Thanks, thank you all for subscribing and uh, keep giving me a thumbs up if you like what I do. I really appreciate it. It helps my placement on YouTube. There's all kinds of stuff I could tell you about um, my Teespring, Teespring clothing and uh, searching for the YouTube Artworks wet and dry at the bottom of the description under most videos, volumes one, two, and three most recently, along with Pinterest and Instagram links. And what else? I can't think of anything else. I don't think I'm going to give the description of my pouring recipe in this particular video. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. This is your friend Priscilla Batzell at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the front yard in Spring Hill, Florida. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.